GetX has its own dependency management solution. GetX dependency management module is decoupled from rest of the package. So if you are using Block, Riverpod or any other state management library, you can still use GetX dependencies. However, when you use GetX dependency management, you don't need service locators like GetIt and any other service locator that is created using provider or inherited widget. Once you have registered a dependency with Get, you can find it anywhere in the app. Need not be in any hierarchy like you had in case of inherited widgets. First, you can register a dependency with get using four methods put, lazy put, put async, and create. The most common way out of this is put. In put, you just need to pass the instance of dependency. If there are two or more instances of same type, you can separate them by tag. The permanent flag set to true makes the instance live for lifetime of the app. If it's false, the dependency will dispose when it's not used anymore. The builder allows you to delegate initializing dependency to a function instead of dependency itself. You can also register a dependency with get lazily, which means that the dependency will be injected when you try to access it for the first time. In lazy put, you can use builder and tag same as you used in put. But instead of permanent, you have phoenix here. When phoenix is true, get will dispose dependency when not needed and reinitialize when it is needed again. Try to use it for API clients, data sources, storage classes, etc. Sometimes you might not know the dependency at the same time when you want to register it. So you can register dependency asynchronously using get.putAsync. Like if there is async call before returning the instance, then you can use putAsync. This also has builder, tag and permanent. The fourth one is create. In case of create, we are creating the instance then and there itself. So it's not a singleton instance. By default, the dependency created with create has permanent flag as true, which means it can be used in multiple screens. Once you register a dependency with get, you will also need to get it back whenever required. For that, use get.find with the type specified in angular brackets. If you have two instances of same type, use tag to distinguish. By using get.delete, you can delete a dependency explicitly, but it's not required because getx deletes unused instances. There is a special method, replace. Using get.replace, you can substitute instance of one sibling with another. For example, if you have two concrete classes, first class and second class, that extends parent class. Initially, you have registered first class instance for parent class type. When you find it by parent class type, you will get instance of first class. Now replace first class with second class using get.replace parent class and pass in second class. This time, when you find the dependency of parent class type, you will get instance of second class instead of first class. I hope I made sense with the names for these classes. Feel free to rewind the video and watch it again. Now let's move to the final topic for dependency management, bindings. When you have dependencies for a widget or a page, you generally would define it in the init callback method. With bindings, you will define or register your dependencies in a bindings class and attach that class to the screen. The benefit here is that you have separated the dependency management code from UI code. Another benefit is that once the screen is not present in memory, all the dependencies are also disposed if they are declared in that way. You don't have to worry about that. Now create a normal class that extends bindings and override the dependencies method. Here define all the dependencies. While using name routes, define binding in the get page. If you are not sure of dependencies at compile time, you can also use bindings builder as well in get page. If not using named routes, define binding as an additional parameter for get.2 method. And that's it for dependency management. This was fairly longer than I thought. But we covered a lot of things in GetX today. And that is core of this library. So leave your feedback in the comments and show some love by hitting the like button and sharing this video in various Flutter forums. 
and if you are new to this channel support me and the channel by subscribing this channel thanks for watching and see you in the next one